you still have to find it within yourself to be disciplined and to have the discipline to go and do the things that maybe are uncomfortable or hard or challenging. Welcome to the Shaw Strain Podcast. I am your host, Brian Shaw, and today we've got a shorter episode for you. Please remember, if you have any questions, any topics, any guests that you'd like to see on the podcast, you can email those in to askbrian at shawstrength.com, and we'll filter through those and try to get to them. I really appreciate everybody that has reached out through the email uh, to share you know, what they've thought of the podcast or topics or anything like that. And one of the questions that has popped up quite frequently is motivation, how to stay motivated, how to go after your goals. And, you know, how do I find motivation? People have asked me that question as well. And um, actually, before we jump in everything, I probably should mention the wall uh, behind me. If you're watching this on video for the people that are not uh, watching this uh, video, but are listening on audio. We've got the the podcast room. I guess we can call it a podcast studio now. Um, the wall behind me is uh, is done. We had that kind of custom done, and this is uh, uh, beetle kill uh, wood from Colorado. So it's actually a very unique wall behind me. It's got a lot of color variation and, and texture and that type of thing. So hopefully you are liking this better than the white wall that we have had. Uh, I know a lot of people have commented on the the white wall and, you know, how it's a little rough to watch, uh, especially the video uh, side of it. But we're working on it. This is not the finished product yet. Uh, we still have some some neat stuff to add. We still got to get the table done. We've got some other things we're working on. But we've got a lot on the plate. We're getting ready for a lot of different things here. Um, and our, our team is working on a lot. So that will just have to come in time. But in the meantime, you know, hopefully you'll just get to kind of follow along as we update things. Uh, and eat, each episode that comes along, there may be, you know, more that uh, we're able to talk about and show. But uh, going back to what I want to talk to you guys about today, I want to talk to you about how motivation fix, fits into the picture with going after your goals and how discipline fits in with that as well. So, you know, the the misconception I think that a lot of people have when they look at, you know, somebody like me, a top level athlete, you know, maybe top level business uh, person, you know, something like that is the fact that those individuals are always motivated. They're just wake up, roll out of bed and they're motivated and, and uh, they go after their day and they attack it. And that is not the truth. The truth is that you can have goals that you're going after and you can be motivated to go after those goals, certainly, but there will be days and there will be times where that motivation just isn't there. And what you have to fall back on at that moment or in those times is discipline. So you have to be disciplined. So any top athlete in the world, I mean, you look at me, there are times where I need to go in and train or I need to get work done or I need to do something and my motivation level is just not very high, but I then can fall back on being disciplined and then I have the discipline to execute in those moments when I need to. So to put this more into perspective so that all of you can kind of relate to it a little bit more let's use the example of the beginning of the year right there's new year's new year's resolutions everybody's you know kind of starting a fresh you know slate for the year and they've got you know goals that they're setting and and uh you know very often a goal that a lot of people will set is hey it's a new year i want to get in better shape I want to lose weight. I want to gain muscle, you know, that type of thing. And so it's, it's very fresh. It's very new. You, you know, quite possibly have gyms that are offering, you know, new member incentives or discounts. Uh, you know, maybe supplement companies are giving better deals at the beginning of the year. 
because everybody's kind of on that train and they're they're all you know super excited super motivated to get in there and then you kind of go you know through the first week of the year second week of the year maybe the first month of the year and what you will see is everybody will start out really strong and then it'll just kind of taper off and taper off and taper off and then you get into you know maybe february or march and a lot of the people that had those new year new year resolutions if i can get that out uh they have kind of hit that wall and their motivation has kind of run out they they have had days and and you know then they kind of fall off the train and then they're like well shoot i've missed a day i've missed two days i missed three days and now it just kind of spirals into this this you know negative type of mentality but also they can't get back on the train and they can't find this motivation again because life is happening, their job is happening, they've got responsibilities, other things to take care of. And so at that point, what what that individual or what you know those people need to have is they need to have the discipline to go into the gym to train when they don't have the motivation And when they're not feeling that kind of fire and they're not feeling that energy, but as soon as they can get through a couple of those days where they didn't want to do it, but you know what? They got in the car, they drove to the gym, they walked in the door, they started their workout and they put one foot in front of the other and found out that that workout was actually pretty good and they feel better about themselves. And then you get the positive reinforcement from having the discipline to go do something that you weren't necessarily motivated to do in that moment. And then that day will make you feel better and you'll kind of wake up and say, hey, I did that when I didn't have super high motivation, but I feel better about myself. And then it'll kind of, you know, maybe give a little bit of life back to going after the goal that you had originally set for yourself. And then from there, you'll take another step forward. And then what you'll find is you may go a couple days and there'll be another day that'll pop up where things aren't going great. Maybe you didn't have a great day. Maybe everything wasn't completely on track. And you're faced again with this, you know, challenge of doing something that you're not motivated to do, but you have the discipline then that comes in and takes over. And then you're able to walk in and get that done. You know, for myself, to give you an example uh, recently, and the reason that, you know, I get asked this, but the reason that I really thought about it and I said, you know, I think this is important to maybe share this message is a couple nights ago, I was faced with this exact same challenge for myself. And we had had a a really hard day, actually. A lot of work, a lot of different things, uh, moving stuff around, getting things done. And, uh, and it was late. It was about 10 o'clock at night. I was pretty exhausted to be fair from the day, but it was a training day and I had training in front of me. So what I could have done is I could have said, well, it's 10 o'clock at night. I'm not fresh. I'm kind of exhausted from the day. I'm just going to go inside. I'm going to, you know, try to eat something and go to bed and, and we'll start it all tomorrow. But what I chose to do was I chose to just start warming up, just start going through the motion, so to speak. And once I got through my warm up, things started feeling a little bit better. And I kind of jumped into my first set, my second set, and everything started clicking. And I actually was able to put together a really, really good training session. So I trained from about 10 to 1130, which was a little bit shorter than normal, but at 11 30 i was done i felt great i felt somewhat energized actually from not only the workout but also i felt happy and proud of the fact that i was able to overcome that moment where i wasn't motivated and i i really needed to find a way to get this done and i was able to take a step forward and this is something that has been kind of a common theme for myself through my entire career is having the discipline to go do these things in the moments where I wasn't necessarily motivated to do them. I was able to step up. I was able to go in, have the discipline to get it done and always take a step forward. And what I've always thought to myself is if I'm able to go in and and make some type of progress 
on my worst days, on the days where I just don't have it, I'm, I'm stressed or I've got a lot going on on the side. On those days, if I'm able to go in and, and make some kind of progress, it's probably not going to be a session where I, you know, break records or I do anything monumental or anything. But what I am doing is I'm making positive progress forward. And then I kind of chalk up a win for that day. And then I, I go into the next day and instead of going backwards, I'm going forward. And, you know, for me, that's always been a very, very satisfying thing. So, you know, for all of you that are listening, discipline is something that you can decide for yourself. And it's not easy. I'm not going to sit here and say that it is easy because everybody, I mean, and I, I'm obviously using myself as an example, but any top level athlete would be lying, lying to you if they said, yeah, I'm motivated hundred percent of the time. And, you know, I never, ever have to, um, you know, think about it or, or whatever. And, and that, you know, to some extent might be true because as you constantly make these hard decisions and hard choices, and you're, you're always doing that, it does get a little bit easier, but you still have to find it within yourself to be disciplined and to have the discipline to go and do the things that maybe are uncomfortable or hard or challenging. And uh, I know for myself, I also really like to embrace those types of challenges. And, and uh, you know, I've used the example of, of jumping in a cold tub, you know, uh, ice water. It's something that is challenging and i i really like introducing these types of challenges for myself because i th i think that it makes me stronger mentally and i think that it keeps me sharp and it, it kind of takes me out of my comfort zone and i i really like to challenge myself in those ways because i think that it carries over to my life and you know if i'm able to go jump in in a freezing tub of water then making another choice throughout the day gets easier and easier and easier. And, you know, it's something where then you just start living with the discipline to get these things done. So there's a lot of things that can be motivating and goals and setting goals can be also very motivating and having that in front of you. So again, going back to the example of, of New Year's or maybe you've got a, a vacation coming up that you're going to go on and you, and you really want to be in, in, you know, better shape or, or, you know, get a lot of stuff done before you on that vacation, or maybe you've got, you know, some type of family reunion or, uh, you know, maybe some type of, uh, you know, school type of, um, uh, you know, celebration or, or get together, that type of thing. A lot of these things for people can be very motivating and you, and you tend to set goals around these big life occasions and leading up to them, you know, keeping that goal in mind can be very motivating, but also you're going to have to have the discipline on those hard days to go in, to get it done, to step up. And, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm using the example of working out here, um, you know, because, I relate a lot of things, obviously, to training and my training. But, you know, the, the next um, thing that I would say is, uh, you know, there was another night in this past week where we're working on a lot of different things right now for the Shaw Classic because we're kind of in the countdown up to that contest here in August. And there was, um, you know, one night where we're working on the program that we're going to have for the event. And there were some things that, uh, that I needed to do. So my wife, Carrie has been working really hard on, on that. And there's a lot of different things that she can do. And there's some stuff that I need to step in and do. And I was exhausted. I'm not going to lie. I was just exhausted. I had had a long day and it was kind of the same scenario as my training session, but I needed to sit down in front of the computer and I needed to get these things done because in the morning, we needed to send this uh, program in basically to be formatted, to be set up. And, and if I didn't get that done before I went to bed, then it would be late and, and it would screw up the timeline and everything. So I had to, you know, sit down, get focused in a different way than training and work in front of the computer, get that stuff done. And again, when I was finished typing all of that up, 
I felt that the same, it was a little bit different, but the same type of accomplishment because I got my work done when I didn't want to get my work done, right? I, it would have been so much easier uh, to just say, you know what? I just don't have it in me right now. I really much rather would go to bed. I much rather would just say, hey, let's push it off, whatever. But again, that's a difficult choice that had to be made. And it was sitting down in, that, in front of that computer, getting that work done so that the next day it could get in on time and, and we could move forward and get closer to being ready for the Shaw Classic, right? So these types of things can come in a variety of different forms. And sometimes it's the, you know, the physical side of it. Sometimes it's the work side of it more, which is obviously more mental and, and, um, and that type of thing. But all of these challenges require discipline. And as much as I'm excited about the, the program for the Shaw Classic, for example, I, at that moment, wasn't, you know, super motivated to do that. I had to have the discipline to get that done. And, you know, when it comes to training, it's very much the same thing. At times, you know, going after my goals and, and different things, lacking the motivation on tough days is where the discipline needs to plug in. Uh, you know, this is something that I think that um, hopefully a lot of you can apply uh, to your life and, and just think how much better you will feel and the sense of accomplishment that you will have when you start accepting these challenges that are in front of you, embracing them and falling back on the discipline that you have inside of you because each and every one of us has that somewhere, right? And it's the easiest thing in the world to make an excuse and say, oh, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not like Brian. Brian's different. You know, he's talking about this stuff, but I don't have that in me. That's literally ridiculous because you do have it inside of you and you can find it. You can definitely find it. And that's the way that you need to think about each and every day. Find that discipline, do something hard and make yourself better on a daily basis. And, uh, you know, this is really what it falls back on. So, you know, the next time that you've got a challenge in front of you, you've got something that's, that's, you know, challenging and something that you may not have the motivation to do. Instead of making that excuse and taking the easy way out, find the discipline to do whatever that is that's in front of you. And I promise you, you will feel better. You will uh, have that sense of accomplishment and it will m have you taking a step forward, which will make you better. So I think we're going to end it there today, guys. I really appreciate the support. Uh, if you got something out of this message, please share it. It's been incredible. You know, the growth that we have already had uh, with this podcast, we've got some exciting guests that will be uh, coming in here uh, into the new space. And, and uh, I'm, I'm so excited to, you know, put out more content with the podcast here. But, you know, this was a message that, you know, I just kind of thought of, I wanted to share with you guys today. And uh, I really and truly hope you can get something out of it and take something positive away from it. And, you know, at the end of the day, I want everybody to win, right? I want all of you listening to this to win. I want all of us to get better. And, uh, you know, if I can play even a small, small part in you improving yourself, that's what it's all about for me. And uh, it's a big reason, basically the reason that I wanted to start doing this uh, for all of you. So hope you're all doing amazing for now. Go out and be great. And we will check you guys later.